Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping issues and online lag for the game Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege in few simple steps. First of all, I would like to thank you all as my channel recently completed 11k subscribers and it means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit the subscribe button now for regular gaming content and some pretty cool giveaways in future too. Also, I'll be linking some of the coolest gaming accessories you can have in the description of this video, including some gaming laptops, mouse and other accessories. So if you're interested in buying any of it, then you can have a look at it too. And now without any further ado, let's get started. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues, but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated, so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed, but if you're still facing this issue, then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step, we'll be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one and it is a really quick guide of 4 minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all what you have to do is, you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for CMD on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping, type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you have done that, press enter. So it will take some time, it will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see, average ping is 11ms. Now what you have to do is, you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter. And it will again calculate the average ping. So let's wait for it and request timeout and here it is. The average ping here is 17ms. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between this DNS server and this DNS server. 11ms is way better than 17ms so what you have to do is you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that DNS and now go to your network connections so search for view network connections so just go to view network connections here as you can see and here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi just double click on your Wi-Fi if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you can just select your Ethernet if you're connected to your Ethernet and go to your properties in properties, you have to select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on OK. Oh, click on properties, not click on OK, click on properties. And in properties, by default, it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to select use the following DNS server address and in preferred DNS server, you have to enter the DNS which was better for you. So in my case, 1.1.1.1 was better for me. So I'll press 1.1.1.1. And if 1.1.1 was better for you too, so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1. So that's it for this step. But just in case 8.8.8 .8 was better for you, then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. Once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. This step is again a very important step. In this step we'll be forwarding ports. So if you don't know how to forward your ports, first of all search for Rainbow Six Siege ports on Google and you can go to any of these links but I would recommend this support.ubisoft.com link and once you will click on it you will be redirected to this page. Here scroll down and you will see these two headings TCP and UDP. So th these are the TCP ports for this game and this is the UDP port. So now what we will be doing is we will be searching for firewall windows firewall as you can see windows defender firewall with advanced security so search for this in your search bar and open it wait for it to load and once it has been loaded you have to go to inbound rules in inbound rules you have to create a new rule on this right side as you can see here click on new rule and here you have to select port because we are forwarding ports now click on next and first of all let's select tcp port here and now just 
copy everything that's in front of TCP here. So I will provide you these TCP and UD ports in the description of this video so you don't have to visit this website. I will provide both of these TCP and UD ports in the description. So first of all let's just copy the TCP ports and just paste them here in specific local ports. Click on next, allow the connection, click on next, domain private public, select everything, click on next and give it the name let's say rainbow 6 that's it and finish now let's create another rule for udp port again click on port click on next here instead of tcp select udp and copy the udp port from the description of this video and once you have done that paste it here and once you have pasted it click on next allow the connection click on next domain private public click on next and also give it the same name that is rainbow 6 and once you have done that click on finish and that's it for this step restart your pc and now when you will try to run your game you will definitely see a significant improvement so now let's proceed to the next step in this step we'll be flushing our dns so this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users and to perform this step you just have to go to your cmd again that is command prompt and once you'll open it you just have to type ip config space then give a slash backslash and flush dns I'm just confused is, is it a backslash or forward slash I'm just confused so whichever it is IP config space slash and then flush DNS and once you've typed it press enter and it will see you will see on your screen Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache and that's it for this step it is that simple try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing high ping then it will also help in that case and if you're facing any server error it might fix that problem too so that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video then please leave a like on this video. If you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.